Hello boys and girls, welcome to lesson 1-3, Convert Unit Rates. For this lesson, we're going to be looking at words such as unit ratio and dimensional analysis. Real world link. Animals. Squirrels, chipmunks, and rabbits are capable of running at fast speeds. The table shows the top running speeds of these animals. So here's our table, our animals, and the speeds, miles per hour. There's our rate. How quickly is it going per, per mile? Squirrel, 10 miles per hour. Chipmunk, 15 miles per hour. So chipmunks are faster than squirrels. Didn't know that. Cottontail rabbit, 30 miles per hour. Holy moly. My dog caught a squirrel one time. Now I know why. Number one. Number one. How many feet are in one mile? What about 10 miles? This is where we have to do a conversion of units. So we have to know this. Table of conversion. We have customary units and metric units. So this is how we measure short distances or relatively short distances in, um, in two different systems. The customary units measurement is used in the United States, while the metric unit is used in Canada and pretty much everywhere else in the world. When we look at the American, we know that they measure, um, they use feet, so they measure something small by one foot, which is 12 inches. Right? When they weigh things, they use ounces and pounds. We do this too here in Canada. We 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 say say our height in feet. We say we're five five or or five eight in feet. Five meaning five feet, and when we say eight, we mean eight inches. Five feet eight inches, and we talk about pounds. How heavy we are? One hundred and twenty, one hundred and forty pounds, and so on. And um, sometimes we talk in gallons and and so on too. But here in Canada, but um, really, this is our, more of our system. I think the reason we use the customary system, the American system, so often is because we're so close to the United States. One yard is three feet, one mile. We don't talk in miles, though, in Canada. We definitely use kilometers, right? We use kilometers. We may, might use yards, but I think it's very easy or pre, uh, common to use meters as well. So, in our question, because our textbooks are from the U.S., Common Core Base, um, it's going to ask us about the customary system, the you know, system used in the United States. And it's asking us about how many uh, feet are in one mile. So, one mile has how many feet? Well, one mile has 5,280 feet. What about 10 miles? 10 mile has... Well, if this is what one mile has, how many will we have for 10 miles? Well, we have to bring it up to 10 miles, right? At 10 miles, that means we went up by 10, 10 times. We have to do the same thing to this amount and multiply it by 10. Because that's what, that's what we did to the one right here. Multiply it by 10 to make it 10. So we might multiply this by 10. This is 10 times larger. We're trying to find out what 10 times larger is. This is. So when we multiply, we get 52,800. Notice that in the number 5,280, decimals right here, right? Because we multiplied it by 10, the decimal moves over one place from here where it was to here where you can fit another number right in there, the zero. So it becomes this that one that decimal is gone so it moves over like you see so it becomes oh so the de the comma because remember the comma is every three place values you see that every three so the comma also moves over but it becomes 52,800 simply because we multiplied it by 10 it essentially adopts the zero from the 10 now we're being asked about time how many seconds are in one minute and in one hour. We know that um, 
one minute has 60 seconds, right? But how many seconds, so we write 60 there, but how many seconds do we have in one hour? Well, if this is one minute, right? How many minutes are in one hour? 60, right? So we have to multiply the 60 seconds by 60 minutes, because there's 60 minutes in one hour. So we go ahead and we multiply 60 times 60. It's the same as multiplying 6 times 6. You know you get 36. And then you take this 0 and you put it there, and you take this 0 and you put it there. It becomes 3600. So there's definitely a pattern there. And they're going to ask us, how could you determine the number of feet per second a squirrel can run? Number of feet per second. Numbers of feet per second. Feet per second. So that's changing two different uh, measurements of units of what we know about our squirrel. We know that a squirrel can do 10 miles per hour. Correct 10 miles per hour. Well, we know that 10 miles, right, is 52,800 feet. Everybody's already figured out. So we have converted it to feet, miles to feet. And the reason we're doing 10 of them is because that's what we're told. We're told that they can do 10 miles in one hour. And we also know what one hour is. One hour in seconds. You see how we, were, we have to convert to seconds? So what would make sense is to take the number of feet traveled by the squirrel, right, in 10 miles, right, right there, per hour. That's how, that's how many feet a, a squirrel can go in one hour. But we don't want to know in one hour. We want to know in seconds, correct? So we have to go ahead and divide it by the numbers of seconds in one hour. And when we divide that, we will get our feet per second. There's your number of feet and there's your number of seconds in one hour. So, so let's write this down. We divide the number of feet in 10 miles, which is 52,800 feet, right? We divide that number because we want to know, that's, how we, that's what we know about our squirrel friend. It can travel 10 miles in one hour. So we're going to take that number in feet, and we're going to divide it by the number of seconds in one hour, because we're trying to get down to the one second mark, right? Which is 3,600 seconds, as we did there. And when we do that, we are told that 10 miles per hour is about 14.7 feet per second. Now all of that conversion brings us to the main key or the main point of this lesson. If you're going to walk away with anything in this lesson is to make sure you walk away with this. I would pause this video and copy down these tables, this customary unit table and the metric units of measure table, simply because you're going to refer to this a lot. And when we do the test, I will let you take a look at this. But it doesn't hurt to uh, know it off by heart. I know the, the metric system really well off by heart because it's all base 10. While the customary system is really just based on memory. You know, it all fits together nicely mathematically, but 12 inches and a foot, why not 10 inches? You know what I mean? So, um, same here with 16 to uh, 1 and 8 pints in a gallon. See, that, this is not a common one. Three feet in a yard is very common, but 5,280 feet in one mile, people don't really uh, use this form of measurement. So it would be good to memorize as much as possible. So go ahead, pause the video, and uh, copy these tables down. Well, I'm sure that those tables took a couple of minutes for you to write down. Uh, this is also very important to pay attention to because this is the lesson. This will be the math we will be doing. Each of the relationships in the tables can be written as a unit ratio, which means down to the one, right? One meter, one liter, one centimeter, and so on. Like a unit rate. You see, one mile, one yard. These are all one units. These are all units. 
A unit ratio is one in which the denominator is one unit. Below are three examples of unit ratio. So 12 inches, one foot. 16 ounces, one pound. 100 centimeters, one meter. Just the way we wrote them here, now we wrote them vertically to show this ratio, that every 12 inches is one foot. Every 16 ounces is one pound. Every 100 centimeters is a meter. So the numerator and the denominator of each of the unit ratios shown are equal. So the value of each ratio is one. These are equal. This is like writing one foot over one foot. Right, or one cup over one, or sorry, one pound over one pound, and one meter over one meter. It's just it's written differently in smaller units. You can convert one rate to an equivalent rate by multiplying by a unit ratio or its reciprocal, the opposite. When you convert rates, you include the units in your computation. The process of including units of measure as factors when you compute is called dimensional analysis. Let's look at our first example right here so that we can understand how we convert. A remote control car travels at a rate of 10 feet per second. How many inches per second is this? So 10 feet per, se uh, per second. How many inches per second is this? So 10 feet, that's a that's a quite long in one second. That's a fast little car. We want to know how many how many is that in inches. So what we do is we write the ratio 10 feet in one second. It, we multiply it by the inches. We're going to multiply the top by the inches. And the reason we're going to do that is simply because there is 12 inches in each foot. And we're trying to figure out how many inches are in 10 feet. We multiply by 12. And then on the bottom, we keep our units in one second. 12 inches is one foot. So we're going to keep our units. We multiply, we can cross reference these two, and feet will um, cross each other out. We multiply the top, we multiply the bottom. And we get 120 inches in one second. And here's your therefore. So, 10 feet per second equals 120 inches per second. Okay, let's look at example two together now. And we have a swordfish can swim at a rate of 60 miles per hour. There's our ratio right there, right? 60 miles per hour. I would write that 60 miles per one hour. That's how I would write it. How many feet per hour is this? So we're going to, they still want to know the hour so the bottom stays the same but now they want to know how many feet so here we have our ratio as we wrote it here 60 miles per one hour and we're going to multiply it by feet by the number of feet in one mile so that we can get 60 miles converted into feet and we're going to write uh, miles at the bottom the ratio for miles because right? we want to cross reference these two then we get rid of the miles we multiply straight across and we get 3,000, that's right, 316,800 feet in one hour. So a swordfish can swim at a rate of 316,800 feet per hour. That's a fast fish. Okay, let's see another example. Um, here we have number three. We have Marvin. Marvin walks at a speed of seven feet per second. Walking quite fast, seven feet per second. I would write that as seven feet FT in one second, right? There's your ratio. How many feet per hour is this? Well, we have to find out how to convert this into hour. How many, how many seconds are in an hour again? Do you remember? We had, um, 3,600, remember? And then, well, we have to figure out the top. We do the same thing to the top, but there's actually a way to do it. Take a look here. We have seven feet in one second. And then how many 
seconds are in one minute? 60, correct? And how many minutes are in one hour? 60. So what I was trying to say earlier was that you, you'll have to multiply the bottom second by 3600. You're going to multiply the top by 3600 as well, except it just broke it into 60 and 60. But you already know that 60 times 60 is 3600. So 7 times 3600. This is the way they show you. Now you're where we're going to actually have more than one um, product, more than one factor. We're going to multiply our original ratio um, into minutes and then into hours because we're trying to find out how many feet per hour. And then we do our cross referencing where we cross reference our seconds and our minutes so that we're left with feet per hour. You go right ahead and multiply straight across and your units are uh, 25,200 feet in one hour. Okay, if you feel confident, go ahead, read through question A and B, and pause the video and try them on your own, and then uh, you can play the video again and see how I did it. Pause now. Okay, I hope you paused the video. I'm going to try A first. A. A gull can fly at a speed of 22 miles per hour. I'm just going to go right ahead and write that down. 22 miles in one hour. Right? And then uh, about how many feet per hour can the gull fly? Sorry, how many feet about? The gull can fly at a 22 miles. Okay, 22 miles per hour. And they want to know feet per hour. So we just have to convert this into into feet. So for example, uh, we have to understand that one mile, right, because we're, we're trying to figure out the mile, has 5,280 feet. So now we do as the textbook showed us, we have to cross-reference, right, and we're going to cross-reference um, the miles with the miles over here, right? Um, so now we're just left with feet per hour, which is what we're looking for, right? We're looking for how, how many feet per hour can the gall fly. So we go ahead now and we just simply multiply straight across. Oh, this was not intended to be an equal sign, sorry. It was intended to be a multiplication sign. Because we're multiplying by the inverse, by the reciprocal. So we go ahead and we multiply straight across. And when I multiply 22 times 5,280, I get 116,160 feet per hour. Here it's just simply 1 times 1. Uh, it should write, feet there, write the units. Let's try question B. An Amtrak train travels at 125 miles per hour. Like I said, ah, there's my, my rate or ratio. So I go right ahead and I write it down. 125 miles in one hour. We're going to try to convert to, let's see, convert the speed to miles per minute, round to the nearest hundred. So miles per minute. I know that um, one hour, right? One hour has 60 minutes. So one hour has 60 minutes. I can cross reference these hours right here. I can cross reference that with that. And then if I just multiply directly across, I get 125. Oops, 125 miles. And on the bottom, I'm going to have 60 minutes. If I simplify this, right, so that I can get down to the one minute, I'm going to divide 125 by 60. When I do that, I get 2, oops, 2.08. 
uh, and they want us to convert to the nearest tenth. So my tenth value is right there. This is clearly higher than five, so it's going to be 2.1. That's 2.1 miles per minute. Okay, and finally, let's look at uh, example four together and uh, go through the steps so that we make sure we understand how to do this. The average speed of one team in a relay race is about 10 miles per hour, okay? What is the speed in feet per second? So now we're making two conversions. We have to convert the miles to feet and the hours to seconds. We know there's 3,600 um, 3, seconds in one hour, and we also know that 10 mile has 52,800 feet. But let's see how they do it. We can use one mile, which is 5,280 feet, one hour, 60 minutes, and one minute, 60 seconds to convert the rates. We're going to keep all the unit rates at the bottom. We know that we're going from 10 miles, right? 10 miles to feet. So we want to know how many feet are in 10 miles. So we multiply those two together. We're also going from one hour to 60 minutes and later to 60 seconds. Right? We're going to by 3600. Okay. We will have to multiply that multiply by that to find out how many seconds are in an hour. And once we get the product of all those, okay? Well, we cross reference, right? Miles to miles hours to hours, we can skip one of the entire ratios, and then minutes to minutes. What are we left with? Feet per second. We find the product of all three by simplifying and multiplying across. We get 52,800 divided by 3,600, which gives us approximately 14 feet per second, about 15 feet actually, if we round up. And now, for your guided practice, which we will do together, you can uh, see that we are going to continue on with examples 1 and 2, example 3, and our last example, example 4, where we have two conversions to do. Read through these questions and uh, get familiar with them so that we can do them smoothly in class. See you then.